Welcome everyone, you want to back up your iPhone before upgrading to iOS 16, I don't blame you, here is how you do that. So the first method, this does not require a computer, is you open up the settings app. From here you want to tap on your name at the top, I'm going to do this off screen because it will show my email. And then you're going to find where it says iCloud, tap on iCloud, and then from here you're going to scroll all the way down. And you just want to find where it says backup. So I may have scrolled past it. There we go, iCloud backup. Tap on this one. Make sure iCloud backup is on. If you have unlimited data, turn on backup over mobile data and just tap on backup now. While the backup is going you know, through, you will need to stay on this page, okay? And wait for this one to finish. So here is the deal. If you have enough iCloud storage, all of your files, everything will be backed up to the iCloud. So if something goes wrong with the iOS 16, then you'll be able to use your iCloud backup and you'll be able to go exactly where you left off. However, if you have a small amount of iCloud storage, maybe five gigabytes, it may not be able to back up all of the files. So the next method is you use the computer to back up your device. You don't need to pay for iCloud storage. Uh, you just need enough storage on the computer itself. So I'm going to move to my computer right now and I will show you how to back up your iPhone via the computer so you can get ready for iOS 16. Moving to the computer, you want to download iTunes if you have a Windows computer. So just head over to apple.com forward slash iTunes. From here, you're going to scroll all the way down and where you see looking for other versions, just click on the Windows button here then click on download iTunes for Windows Now, 64-bit. You want to set up iTunes after it downloads and then restart your computer. For Mac users, iTunes is built into the Mac itself. So once you have iTunes set up, uh, what you're gonna do is on the Mac, we're gonna open up the Finder app. On Windows, you're gonna open up the iTunes. And from here, you just want to find a little icon which shows your iPhone. On the Mac, it's on the left hand side. On the iTunes, it will be near the top. So from here, what we need to do is we need to connect our iPhone to the computer, okay? And once it's connected, we should see the device. Just click into it. If you see this trust message, click on trust, and then you will need to check the iPhone itself. Go to the home screen of the iPhone, tap on trust, enter in your passcode, and once you've done that, you should have access to your iPhone. So now we are here, you're going to scroll all the way down until you see Backup Now. Just click on the Backup Now button and wait for everything to finish. By default, uh, iTunes or Finder may do a backup automatically. If that happens, for some reason, the backup doesn't save to the device, the computer. Okay, so you just want to click on Backup Now follow the on-screen instructions, and once it's done, you're good to go. In the future, when you want to restore backup, you just click on Restore Backup, select the backup, and then all of your files will be saved. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.